So anyway, today we're going to talk about how to maintain uh, self-love in a relationship. Here, I'm going to have Hannah join me somehow. So we're going to hang on one sec. Hope you guys are feeling great. Thank you for joining us on the live. All right. Just got to wait for everyone to get on here. Ah. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. We got hand on there. So I hope you guys are having a great night so far. I'm definitely excited. Um, also, this is to all of you guys who are joining. This is an open conversation. This is an open conversation. So feel free to ask questions. Hey. Hey, hey we made it on. Right? I'm so excited. Hold on. All right. Okay. There. <laughs> I got it. All right. Perfect. But yeah, so I was just telling everybody or anybody who's on here that they can feel free to ask questions at any time. Yeah. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to see them. Uh, the questions that come on here and everything. So we can give a minute, let people kind of filter in a little bit. So yeah, how are you feeling? Good, good. How are good. you? Happy Friday. Really Happy <laughs> Friday. All right. right. Yeah, I'm glad we were able to make this happen. Hey, Maria, how are you? Um, yeah. Wait one second. No problem. Just a sec. Uh, okay. Wait, no. Wait, so you have to be in your Facebook group in order to see this, right? Yes. Nah, got it. Got it. Got it. Yes. Yeah. There we go. It's a closed group now. I changed that today, so. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we changed that today, yeah. Um, yeah, so we did a, uh Instagram Live, um, what, like a week ago, something like that. Yeah, it was so much yeah. fun. And we had such a good time that I wanted to uh, share Hannah here with the group. If you want, you know, um, let's talk a little bit about you. Let's tell them a little bit more about you. Oh, but you oh. hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Hannah Salazar. I'm based in Toronto, Canada. I am the creator of the Instagram platform, Advice from Hannah, where I give Which out is awesome. Oh, you should definitely you. check out Advice from Hannah on Instagram. If awesome you have a chance i do have a facebook group too but it's not as popular as yours i have like oh. my dog and my husband like it but um <laughs> <laughs> no it's great definitely share it what's your facebook group and share it at uh, the end too yeah well it's, it's advice from hannah it's the same handle mm -hmm. uh, like across the board and um yeah i just post daily inspiration every day um of how to become accountable for your actions and love yourself and just be happy with who you are right now um, as yeah, opposed so to important. Yeah. later or tomorrow or the, who you were five years ago or yeah. who you will be in 20 years. Just be happy now. Um, I love so that's that. kind of me. Thanks. And that, that's so going to tie into our topic tonight. Um, so, uh, so yeah. So, yeah, our topic tonight is maintaining self-love um, while in a relationship. And uh, that's why I thought you'd be such a good person to mm -hmm. come in and, and talk about this topic. Because I know it's an issue for a lot of people. A lot of people experience mm -hmm. this thing where, where they feel like they lose themselves in a relationship. Or they, um, you know, it's harder to love themselves when, you know, there's another person there. And they might be pointing out or noticing flaws that they think about them. Or There's a lot of things that can happen. And so... Um, but it's so important to maintain that self-love once you are in a relationship and once you have that going and have a really solid basis from that. So, um, so yeah, so I thought you'd be a great person to talk oh, about thank that. Thank Yeah, of course. Thank you, thank you. Humble <laughs> to be are. on your platform. Hello, uh, everybody. You're too kind. <laughs> you're very kind. Um, so, yeah, if you want, maybe we can go ahead and we'll get into it a little bit. We can talk yeah. a little bit more about it. Yeah, um, definitely. So, yeah, do you have any tips to start or do you want me to talk about something? Um, well, you're, I've been married for seven years, almost eight. So I've been with the same person almost a decade now um, in total. Uh -huh. 
So definitely loving yourself. Like, I find that when you're in a relationship, you think this person is so awesome and they're so great and you devote all your time to them. And especially, like, you just want to sit there, they're breathing, and you're like, wow, he <laughs> breathes so heavenly. And, like, you know, you... <laughs> It's true, though. He's so heavenly. Heavenly. Okay, yeah. (laughs) Oh, my God. Look how he eats. He's so perfect. So, right, you definitely just become so involved with with this person. You hang out with them. You see them every day. And then slowly you look in the mirror and you're like, oh, what's going on with you, girl? Like, you know. Uh You you don't start doing your hair. And, like, Hmm. because you're so consumed with this person that you just want to be everything for them and just be there all the time. That you forget about yourself, and I, and it's happened to me, and I'm, it's happened to every. I'm sure it's happened to you, and then yeah. you, you kind of have to pull yourself together. You're like, wait, hold on, let me fix myself here a little bit because you, you have to love yourself. If not, you're incapable of loving the other person. It's just, it, yeah. and then you get yeah. burnt out, and then you get the, oh well, he doesn't appreciate me, everything that I do, and you get mm-hmm. all that. Yeah, but it's because you're not loving yourself sufficiently. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's beautiful. Um, I I love that. Um, yeah, I sparked something that I wanted to say, like, right. We were talking about it, but I kind of lost it. Um, Uh, uh, (laughs) it's so, but you, you're right. It's so important to, uh, have that self love. Another thing too, that I think a lot of people don't think about is like, as relationships go on, people tend Mm -hmm. to notice more and more things they don't like about the other person. You know, and it kind of like builds up. So, and then they start focusing on that more and more. And that ends up kind of pushing the other person away. And, uh, and it also, you know, what you focus on grows. And, and so if you continue to focus on the negative aspect of someone, I notice um, that you really, you start amplifying them. Where if you oh. were to do like you were at the beginning, um, and, you know, appreciating them just breathing there, right? Like you were saying, <laughs> you know, they breathe so heavenly. Yeah, you know, if you, yeah. and if, if you keep appreciating those things, they just continually grow. And whenever you appreciate those beautiful things that they do for you, um, those grow as well. And, yeah, it's so easy. I know I even fall into that trap, too. I start noticing things that aren't as positive about that person. And, yeah. um and then sometimes I just know I have to stop and reset. And I, I like to, like, write a list of things I really appreciate about that person, oh. or um, which I think is a great thing. Because it's, it's, it's kind of amazing, that exercise. If you actually, like, sit down, write a list of things you appreciate about this person. Um, I do this with my clients, too, that are already in relationships. And, like, by the time they're done, they're like, wow, I'm so lucky to be with this person. I want to do something really nice for them right away. And I noticed like <laughs> two or three weeks later, you know, things really turn around in a lot of ways. And it's worked for me too. And uh, yeah, it's had a really huge effect. Really powerful. You're dropping gems here. Make a list uh, of everybody, you. of yeah, whoever make, you like. Yeah. Yeah. If you like that person, make a list of the great things about them. And, you know, continually renew that. Also, that's the thing, too. Um, I notice the way, because a lot of people struggle with creating self-love. And I'm sure you may have some tips, you know, for yeah. people. So definitely chime in anytime any time um, when it comes to this. But I notice for people who really struggle with creating self-love, one of the gra- greatest things you can do is to love another person. The more you can create that, you know, feeling of love about another person, um, sometimes you can kind of uh, get really good at loving another person. Then you can kind of uh, turn that on yourself, right? You can sort of look at yourself with those same rose colored glasses. And, uh, and yeah, I think that's, that's really important. With it. And I find with Mm -hmm. me, with how I kind of created self love was, it's going to sound silly, but I took um, a sticky note and I Mm -hmm. wrote like, I'm a powerful a woman and nothing mm-hmm. can stop me and i would read that I every that. single morning when i would yeah. go to the mirror that's the first thing i would read and i'd be like oh yeah hey girl and you know <laughs> <laughs> i love that that's really so good. I yeah it's it's helped me a lot and i do say that to a lot of like the people i interact with i'm like sticky note put it on your mirror the first thing that you see in the morning and just look at yourself and say it out loud and at the beginning you can't even look at yourself and say it like it's hard so you, yeah. you start, yeah, you start building that confidence with it yeah. because mm-hmm. because it's like this new, it's like this new idea. Some people even say like, 
you know, yeah, when they first like start affirming something to themselves or what it's like it's almost like it's like a lie, like you know, because it's so new. Mm -hmm. Um, it's so new. It's like it's like you're watering this new seed that you could easily just flick away, you know, and it, that thought could become nothing. But like every day, like you said, which is really brilliant of just repeating mm -hmm. it to yourself, looking in the mirror and like and getting that energy going. And then you are powerful and then you can't be stopped. Yeah. How could no, you? I, be? Well, right. no, because you're telling it to yourself right now. And, yeah. and I'm a firm believer in like I always get asked, oh, well, Hannah, you've been in a relationship for so long. How do you stay so like? vibrant in yourself and i'm like because uh, I love you me. are super vibrant yeah <laughs> you, you are super bright yeah vibrant for sure you I have to love yourself you just have to love you because i feel as though you can be in a relationship and everything could be great but you're your own individual and your own person and you have to love yeah. yourself because yeah. you sleep next to yourself you're with yourself all day so you're the mvp really so you need yeah. to love yourself sufficiently to love the other person if not you're gonna be like ill Look at him breathing. Right. <laughs> Look at him breathing. It is kind of amazing how much different that can be. You know, just the littlest thing. Two people can do the exact same thing, and your perspective on it is completely different based on the way they think about themselves, usually, and um, which is just, just fascinating. You can take the same person, clone them, have them do the same thing, but have completely different things going on in their mind, you know, and, and then you'll be like, oh, you're chewing again? You know, and then the Why? other person, you're like, oh, <laughs> I love to watch them eat. It's amazing. Right. It's great. It's <laughs> right. Right. Um, oh, so so I wanted to talk about, too, um, self-love. I like to define self-love because I think I define self-love in a little bit more manageable way. Um, and uh, I think it's a little bit more easy because sometimes it's kind of like this out there ethereal thing. And. Some people, mm -hmm, too, self-love mm -hmm. is just, like, not treating yourself so crappily, you know. That, that's not exactly a word, but you get what I mean. It's a word today. It's a word today, crappily. Yeah. We're going to add that to the dictionary. It's going Absolutely. In Let's call up, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, um, so I like to define self-love, and I like to see it as – and you can kind of check on yourself. So really how you know if you have self-love, if you stop, you know, you guys out there check in with yourself and you when you first think of yourself that first initial feeling that you get you know if you can mm -hmm. bring that up to a really happy joyous appreciative state around yourself you really appreciate that instant first hit of emotion when you first start thinking about yourself if you get that and that's really you know self-love and almost no you know very few people really get reach that level but if you mm -hmm. can, it just dramatically can change your life. And, yep. um, and so I think that's, that's really cool. Oh, um, so yeah, do, do you have um, any more thoughts or tips? I thought of another thing that I definitely want to add for maintaining self-love in a relationship. No, say it. Go. Go for it. Okay. It's there. The idea is there. I see it. Yeah. So, so what I think is, is really important, too, is, um, and it's also relating to, to what you said before, where every morning you're going to the mirror, you're... You're affirming mm -hmm. to yourself. You're getting that energy going. And you're doing it day after day after day. Also, the first thing in the morning is really powerful time because if you get uh, whatever energy you get going that first hour in your day, it keeps going it's for the entire thing. day. Yeah. And, um, and that's so important. That's why it's so important what you do in that first hour. And it's like the hour that people value the least. You know, they do. And they do. Yeah. And it's really fascinating because it's the hour that will give them the most bang for their buck. So I, I think it's, it's really important to have um, processes that you do to maintain your self-love, if that makes sense. You want to have things built in systematically to maintain mm -hmm. your self-love that you just do yourself. It doesn't have to do with the other person. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you want to have, um, you know, if, if you wake up and meditate, that's like a great thing you can put on there. Yeah, putting in affirmations. Um, you know, the stopping gym. and doing, yeah, yeah, doing, stopping and doing things that make you appreciate yourself and having those systematically in place to continually keep going, I think is just super, um, super important because a lot of times it's easy to lose yourself in the relationship, right? It, your, yeah. your will, you know, a lot of times too, and that has to do with self-worth is um, a lot of times people say they, 
you know, they, they kind of lose their identity a little bit. Yeah. I feel like they lose their identity and that's why it's, it's really uh, such a big thing to maintain that self-worth and that self-love so that you always have a, the powerful voice in your own world. Go back. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you always want to, you know, don't be afraid to be dominant in your, because it's your world. It's, it's your life. You get to live mm -hmm. your relationship just how you want to. And uh, I really like to encourage people to do that. No, most definitely. Like it's, it is your yeah. world. I'd like to call because I'm a bit more of a, of a drama queen. I like to say it's my stage <laughs> and um, uh -huh. <laughs> I'm the main, yeah. the character and I get to pick mm -hmm. and choose who gets to be on in my, on my stage in my audience mm. watching me. Yeah. So definitely if you, if you practice that, especially with like the that. longer relation, I know. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that it's my good. show. Yeah. I love it. It's funny because I call my segment, the Hannah show and, Literally, my husband named me the Hannah Show. I kid you not. <laughs> yeah. He's like, it's the Hannah Show today again. I'm like, yes, it's all about me. Duh. But um, <laughs> I, I do let him speak. I do. I do. I've learned. Uh -huh. But mm. definitely, you have... <laughs> I'm like, okay, Hannah. He's laughing right now. Like, because he just, uh, I don't I'm know. Sure. How... <laughs> I have no uh. idea how he deals with me. But um, definitely, if you keep yourself in check, you no longer, like, lose yourself with that person. And I see it happen a lot on my end. Like, they spend endless years with somebody, and then when that person departs or if that person changes, they're like, oh, but we used to dress the same, and we did the same things, and everything I did with them. But you never yeah. build your own life, like, yeah. aside from being a yeah. couple. So and it's really important that you still keep your identity, your likes, your dislikes, that you talk still to your parents and your friends and your family or – I don't – Join a group and have something. your own aspirations, of course. Yeah, you need to. It's important. It's important because yeah. you're your own individual, and I've and it's just so hard being like you don't even. This is why this group is so awesome because you're talking about this. And I there's love this people. Group. I love all, everybody, it? all of you guys in this group. I adore like all of little, you guys. It's like his yeah. little family. I I I get you. I get you. I totally get you. you. Um, but you you know we're having this conversation, but there's people out there that are together and they can't talk to anybody about these things because yeah. who are they going to talk? Oh, they're going to judge me. And then you fear judgment because you're in this long relationship or marriage or even the people that are single, like they, they find their identity and then they're trying to mold with somebody else that I, I really don't think yeah. they should be molding with. And right. uh, <laughs> you could right. see it from oh, a yeah. mile away. Oh I'm yeah. Like, why? Again, you... and again, the self-worth thing, you know, because anyone can go on a bad date, but, you know, uh, the people who can, who, who keep dating the bad, the person who's not right for them, got to update the self-worth. It's them. It's not the dates. It's them. Yeah. yeah. I'm convinced it's them. I hear it from all my single friends. I'm like, are you, are you sure it's not you? Like, it's <laughs> the, no. Hannah, you're married. You don't know anything. I'm like, I've been communicating for the same per with the same person for 10 years. I think I know yeah. a thing or two about yeah. this. <laughs> But um, definitely, it's you have to have your self worth. And I was fortunate enough to be raised by like a really bad ass mom who'd be like, "You are the awesome. queen of this house." And then yeah, I love when you talk about that, <laughs> which is so awesome. We all need that person, and most people, most of us don't grow up with that. I didn't grow up with that, you know. Yeah. I'll um, be that person. I'll, I'll that. text you every week. I'm like, "You awesome. are the king of your world." The end. Awesome. Else. We were talking about this in the last uh, Instagram thing. It, it, Hannah is, you know, she sees herself with a crown on, and I love I that. Loved it. <laughs> I love that. We all need to see that, see ourselves as having that, whether we're in a relationship, whether we're not, and that, it, it's it's huge. Um, that's such a that's such a big thing, and I think that's the thing too. Don't be afraid to be yourself. No, I, I know. I know you hear that all the time. We hear that all the time. Everybody's all that like a million times. Okay, Just don't be, be afraid to be yourself. But don't you. be afraid to own your world and your life. Don't be afraid to, um, you know, to say your opinion, to share your thoughts, and to to feel how you want to feel. And and uh, don't be afraid to change your life to exactly how you want it to be. You can create it. You can do it. You can. And with with help of like professionals or or like a tribe or or anything yeah. you can create the world and whoever doesn't fit in it shouldn't be in it 
Yeah. And they should just yeah. go. And it just yeah. I have an aunt who's like eighty six and she's like pretty bomb. And she mm-hmm. says in Spanish I'll translate it. She says there's more people living down the road with ocean view houses made out of concrete because she's saying that the other people live in like wood houses. They have no view. <laughs> So you just, she's like, you just have to keep mm-hmm. walking. More people live closer mm-hmm. to the ocean. And, and it's true, right? Mm-hmm. And she's, she's great. But uh, that one, she, she's like, I am the queen. I'm like, okay. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and no, nobody can tell her any different. And that's the attitude that you should walk in with. And if nobody doesn't like it, then tell them to call me. I'll yeah. Set them. <laughs> yeah. Just, just DM yeah, me. I'll that, be like, leave her yeah. alone. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that that's really good. It, uh, yeah, um, it is so important to have those positive mirrors, you know, like you're talking mm-hmm. about those those positive mirrors. Of course, if you need a positive mirror, you have me. Hannah, I'm sure will be your positive mirror. Um, you know, I'll and people in the group, everybody <laughs> in this group, it's so important that we create those those positive mirrors. Um, so, yeah, so let's talk about like some tips to create some self-love in the first place. I know we talked about a few already. Um, but also, yeah, I think a big thing too, is like, pay attention to how you treat yourself in your own mind, Mm -hmm. right? What's, what's the inner monologue you have on yourself? What are you saying to yourself in your own mind? Are you, are you taking on the, uh, opinions and labels of other people? Are you taking them on yourself? Yeah. Because people can't really treat you differently than you allow them to treat you. You have to Thank say it again. You. Say it again. Say it again for the people in the back. People Just say it really again. cannot treat you differently than you allow them to treat you. The, you have to accept it. They can't treat you bad without your acceptance. They really cannot treat you badly without your acceptance. You have to accept. You have to accept it. You know, mm-hmm. and um, I think you know people always blame the other person, but sometimes we're That's you know, you, you know it. It, it may be you're with a crazy person, but you also have to be a crazy person to stay with a crazy person, right? And you make and excuses for them too. Oh, well, we, he's stressed. We do. Oh, we they're do, tired yeah. and this yeah. and that, and and you're just like trying to justify their yeah. their actions to treat you bad. And I always tell everybody, I'm like, you don't have to convince me that he's not treating you bad. Yeah. You, and I just leave it right there. I don't even say anything after that. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to convince anything. I mean, you know, and we, we all make choice. And a lot of times being in those negative experiences can really help us grow and help us really appreciate really great people. Um, mm-hmm. But, yeah, we can't uh, create beyond our, our own self-worth and our own, our own sort of image of ourselves or our own concept of ourselves. So that's why we have to really improve our concept of ourselves. Is someone deserving of what we really want? Right. We have to improve our concept of someone, you know, and become the person we, you know, think we really want to be. And that's what I want to do with all of you guys here. I want to change, uh, change you guys lives and help you really know that you deserve to have something great, but not just deserve, no, like intellectually, but really feel it like on a deep level. Mm -hmm. Because Mm -hmm. when you feel on a deep level, that's when the changes happen. Right. I'm sure when you started with a powerful affirmation, the first few days it didn't really change much. No. Right. No. But as you kept doing it, yeah, as you kept doing it, the impact on your life becomes more and more. And now I just say it like, like throughout the day, I don't even yeah. like the sticky notes no longer there. And when I wake up, I'm like, yep, Hannah, you're pretty badass. And <laughs> I love that. I love you that. are going to yeah. own it today. And sometimes I, I don't have good days and you can, I feel like the slope coming and then I just pick myself up. I'm like, you know what? No, Hannah. This is not it right now. I'm like, this morning, you woke up, you talked to your tribe, you, like, you spoke nicely to yourself, you made your bed. Make your bed. That makes you feel so much better because at least you accomplished something. And, um, oh, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. the making of the bed is huge. But mm-hmm. um, I, I definitely do that throughout the day because it's really important. And self-love is also doing things you don't like to do, like going to the doctors, having that uncomfortable conversation because – after you're done, you're going to feel better about yourself, right? Mm-hmm. Like you, you went to the doctors, you didn't really want to go, but now you, you go to the went. gym, you know, s- sometimes it's that you feel much better after you go. Yeah. 10 minutes yeah. in and you're like, and you're happy. Right. So oh, yeah. I, mm-hmm. I went yesterday and I was like, Oh my God, I don't want to go. And then 10 minutes in, I was like, Oh my God. Yay. I'm at the gym. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then the next like day or two, you feel better. You know, you, you do. Your friends really fan. 
you know, I, I get this flow too when I when I actually do, you know, when I get myself going to the gym. You you feel this like flow in your body. You feel things moving. So, which is and really I'm nice sure my clothes fit me better, even better this morning. I was like, oh, I <laughs> my husband was here. I was like. Don't I look great today? He goes, kind of. It was like 40 minutes on the treadmill. I'm like, I look like Miss University. But the <laughs> feeling, but the feeling. Yeah, yeah. 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 And that's kind of an interesting thing, too. I um, um, I remember when I wanted to focus more on my body, I, I had, you know, uh, put on a little more weight than I wanted. But I started uh, in my thoughts feeling like I was more fit. And I just mm -hmm. sort of like started getting that focus. Yeah. Like, okay, you know, I'm fit. I feel strong. I feel mm -hmm. good. And I went to the gym, but I, you know, it was maybe for like a week and I really got it kind of going strong. And I went to the gym once and then um, it was weird because I, I had those thoughts going and I went to work and I'd only been to the gym once. And three people that day were like, oh, you're looking more fit. Oh, you're, you're looking more fit. Just randomly, you know, you're like, they never hey. say anything, you know, <laughs> and I, I had only gone once. And um, but people really respond to like what's going on in your mind and and the energy you're you're um you're putting out so definitely you're yeah your vibe attracts your tribe and i know it sounds so granola and you see it everywhere and when mm -hmm. people used to tell me this i'd be like whatever but now like <laughs> mm -hmm. the minute you start loving yourself and treating yourself like the mvp that you are and like mm -hmm. they just it just happens they just magnetically come to you and it's insane yeah, I do this a lot. I love it. I love yes. you. It's raining down. <laughs> the good, the good, the good stuff is just you know showering down. I love that. They just come to me. Like for instance, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll give you guys a prime example. When I launched my platform, I thought literally nobody was going to listen to me. I'm like, who's going to want to listen to me? I'm not a doctor. I haven't gone to coaching school. Like I, I gave myself like all these cons, and then out of nowhere, I get, hey, coach. I'm like, mm -hmm. me. That's right. Hey, girl. And, you know, I, I just took it and I ran with it. But in a sense, I didn't believe like it wasn't until I started believing myself. Like, you know what? I do coach a lot of people informally. Mm -hmm. I do. And yeah. like I handhold and I give advice. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, but it wasn't until I started believing in myself. So if you guys don't start believing that you're the best mate out there, that you're the bomb dot com and that nobody else. That's right. Anything. But you was a downgrade. I say that to my husband all the time. I'm like, anything underneath. Anything but it was a downgrade. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. But it's, it's but you got to have that confidence. Yeah. And if, you, if you, you feel that way, and if you're talking to yourself that way, and you're believing it, and it's not just cerebral, it's not just in our head, but it's down deep, integrated into mm -hmm. our, our body, emotions, and soul, right? Which just takes more time. You got to get the, yeah. you got to get that, you got to amplify it enough to where it's, it's really integrated in your body. But yeah, if you think you're just like the best mate out there, you're going to, one, you're going to start finding reasons that it is the case, you mm -hmm. know, um, and the evidence of it will, will keep mounting up. Yeah, that's right. Know your worth. You um, do? Yeah. And, uh, and the, the, it'll, it'll, you'll start acting that way too. Even if you weren't first, it's like, it's like Muhammad Ali had a great quote. He said, I was the greatest even before I, I said I was the greatest even before I knew I was. And uh, and we really have to start with our ideal destination and yeah. uh, and go from there. So if, if you start thinking you're the best mate, you may not be the best mate when you're when you start. You probably won't be. Yeah. But if you continue to keep thinking you're the best mate, if you keep thinking that that's what you are, you're going to change to become that. You're going to change to become Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yeah. But you have to believe it first. Believe it and then you see it. The, the, yeah. And it takes, it does take a while and it does take practice. But I kid mm -hmm. you not, yeah. I'm telling you, and I'm not lying to you. Once you start like believing it and really like, talk, like, you know, you got to talk the talk and walk the walk. Mm -hmm. I kid you, you have to do that because now yeah. the way you see yourself, everybody else is going to see you. So that mate's going to come and it's like, oh, wait, no. There's no funny business with Hannah because she, you know, she says things how it is. And they're going to think the same way about you. Whatever you, if you're a sweet person or if, or if you're fun or if you're energetic and you portray that, they'll be like, oh, my God, there's so much fun. I can't go to this person and be boring because they're yeah. just going to dismiss me because they don't, you know, we're not vibing, right? We're not. Yeah, they're not on that vibe. Yeah. Yeah. So I, 
I texted a friend the other day. I'm like, we're not on the same frequency right now, so we can't talk. Thanks. And <laughs> That's actually not a bad way to do it. I, I kind of agree because that's when things kind of go off when you guys are on totally different vibes and you try to communicate, you yeah. know. It's, it's, it. I think it's better, yeah. I think that's good. Yeah, yeah I yeah. just cut it, and if it's not working, I, it, I really don't you know, my jeans don't fit. If it's not what I, I just don't even try. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just stop this right now. This uh -huh. is not going anywhere. The The message is getting lost and uh -huh. we'll reconvene when we're both ready. And if we're not, I, then... I like that analogy. The, what is oh. it? the jeans don't fit. <laughs> if the jeans don't fit, you don't put them on. Like yeah, don't put them get... on. I like that. <laughs> if the jeans don't fit, don't put them on. I like Please that. don't just throw them out or go donate them to Goodwill. Somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> those things will fit them if they don't yeah. fit either big or small either yeah, way they, if you don't look they good may, in them, yeah you know or they might be too tight in the legs or too loose in the legs or too you know not long enough they can be anything anything but really they, they can be perfect for somebody else and you know and that's the thing too when we do uncouple i think it's it's important that we try to do it as consciously as possible um yeah Please. you know Please. we try to do it unconsciously as possible and uncouple not just from romantic relationships, but from friendships or, you know, a lot of times people think they have to stick with family, but I am, I'm not on, I'm not in that boat. Um, no. I'm not in that boat. Um, I'm definitely on, you know, sticking with your soul tribe and the people you really vibe with, and no matter, yeah, no matter who they are, you know, and hopefully family comes with you, but, you know, I sometimes think no matter they what. don't. Sometimes you they don't. You have to stick with the soul family. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sometimes like they your don't. group. Yeah, I know. Like I'm very guys. lucky. I love all of you guys in the group. Um, also, I'm really excited about the eight-week course coming out soon. Yes. Actually, you know what? I'm changing it. It's no longer going to call it a course. We're going to call it a boot camp. Because Ooh, you mean business. So it's going to be an eight-week boot camp. Because a lot of times people really struggle with having – you know, like, like you, you know, like you were talking about having those positive mirrors and someone to support them, someone mm -hmm. to see their crown like you do, you know, and, and, and that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be really working with you in particular. And, um, and, and we're going to, you know, sometimes you really need that other person to train you to be your trainer. Yeah. And uh, that's how you really get the results. So, um, so yeah, if you guys need that, definitely message me for, for more information. Also, this is Please. open guys. So if you guys have any questions, you know, feel free. Um, so yeah. So, um, what else, how else can we add to self love? You know, what other ideas can we, can we do for oh, them? Yeah. One, so um, you know what? Oh, uh, well, I had, a, we I got had a question. Idea. Um, Ooh. no, not a question, but, um, we did get a greeting from South America. Hello. <laughs> and um, one thing that I noticed for sure. So uh, one of the great things that you can do to add to self-love is to the better you feel, the more you can just feel good. Um, because love is like that very high, really good feeling state. And mm -hmm. the better we can get better. I love that. The better we can uh, get at it, the more we can think of positives about ourselves. And so getting good at feeling good can really be the magic of creating more self-love. I think that's the real, the real bedrock of creating self-love is getting yeah. good at feeling good. Really thinking, uh, monitoring your thoughts and what you're thinking and specifically choosing the best feeling thought you can find. I think is really important. Oh, we did get a question, by the way. Ooh. That's so I'll exciting. read it to you. So, uh, I, so Gary says, so I came out of a toxic relationship with a narcissist. Um, so I'm hurting uh, as oh. I put a lot into the relationship. Feeling lost and starting to look mm -hmm. at dating again. I guess I'm scared of getting hurt again as I loved her lots. Oh, Gary, you wanna, I'm sorry. Do you want to start? You want to start with this? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll baby Gary and then you can be boot camp. I'm really... Right. <laughs> I really no hey you gotta I'm so sorry mm -hmm. that you put so much into it and it didn't work out but think of it as a learning lesson of what you've learned from yourself and the signs from that person that she taught you that you'll know when things are going south 
So because you left hurting, I would assume now you keep replaying in your head what happened November 10th at 2 p.m. And, and you keep just uh-huh. like doing all those things because now you want to know where you went wrong. And to be honest, you didn't go wrong. What went wrong happened together. So it wasn't all you. It, there was two people. So don't blame yourself and and just try to keep an open mind. But remember to leave that hurt in the past because carrying it to the new person that you're dating won't help because then you're going to be like, oh, oh, wait, mm, she did that thing the other one did. Oh, I got to run. So that's where that's where you come in. But definitely um, just love yourself a bit more and don't blame yourself. And you didn't yeah. waste your time. You gained value you learned more about the human species that's just evolving every minute and we can never keep up yeah and i'm I'm so sorry well yeah yeah Mm. (laughs) so um i can relate to this i had a um and we're taking questions guys and you guys watching um if you guys want to go ahead and and write some don't be shy don't be shy so i had something similar happen to me um, years ago and it did, it hurt a lot. And, um, and this, this woman, um, I was really into her and I was almost like addicted to her. And Mm. I put myself in a state where a lot of my value came from the other person and what they thought. And, um, and I ended up just putting more and more and more into a relationship And for me, I got clinger and clinger as I was more and more scared that they would leave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and then of course, you know, I made her promise. The one thing she wouldn't do was to like, uh, cheat on me with her ex boyfriend. And of course I put so much energy and emphasis into it. That's exactly what happened, happened. even though they promised, but I mean, but I, I learned so much and, you know, it's one of the things that really spurred me so deep into personal development. This is a deep topic. And so, um, so for me, it was really a big turning point for the positive because one, I started to realize that, you know, how I felt really had to do with what, what was going on in my mind and not actually the situation that was going on. Mm -hmm. And, um, and also I, I realized that how I felt and my self worth didn't come from, from that person. And when that person leaves us, it makes us think about ourselves in a negative way. That's why mm-hmm. breakups hurt. It's not actually because they leave. It's, it's because we start thinking thoughts that are not um, positive about ourselves. We start thinking very negatively about ourselves, mm-hmm. right? We, we think of it as a loss. We think we've lost. We think we're less. We think, you know, maybe we'll never get back to where we were before. But You'll that's never the farther. case you'll get much farther. You'll be in a much happier state. You'll be in a much, much better state. Um, Also, uh, an important thing to do is, I know sometimes at the beginning, you know, it makes us feel a little bit better to label that person as narcissistic or as toxic, Mm -hmm. but eventually it's, it's gonna, it's gonna hurt you too. And, and Mm -hmm. sometimes we just have to appreciate the good parts about that relationship. It might be too soon to do that, but uh, eventually you want to get to the place where you can kind of let go of the, how things went bad and uh, appreciate how things went well and to realize that you can and you will create something so much better. It's hard to see it right now. I know. Because it's sure. hurting. Because uh. it, hurt, you know, it hurts right now. But um, you, you will create something much better. You can have all the positives of that person and much more. It, what hurt me a lot is I thought I would never – get back you know what was great about that person you but um but you you know it's life is really about how you feel and the experience so i wanted to uh share again you know how people can find you oh Um, definitely definitely oh let me you guys can find me on instagram advice from hannah um no h at the end of hannah or on facebook advice from hannah my name is hannah salazar if you guys want to pop by say hi I just throw love out and um, hope you have a good day, usually. <laughs> I'm quite yeah. funny sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you're quite funny a lot. You're really funny. <laughs> you're really funny. Yeah. Yeah. And awesome, awesome person to, uh, to chat with. Um, so, yeah. Um, 
uh, I wanted to make sure that you got to say that. Is there anything else you wanted to say to the people out there before, you know, or oh. anything you wanted us to cover real quick? Oh, now I'm getting heavy hearted. I have to go. I feel no. sad. Um, no. no, I just want to say. It's not a rush guys to know. go. Go ahead. I know, like, Hannah, no. Um, I just want to let you guys know that you're the most important person in your lives. And whoever is next to you needs to appreciate that and see you as gold, crown, prince, whatever your highest value is in your life. If the person next to you doesn't see you that way, you need to talk to Zach to make sure they see you that way. Or you need to throw them out. <laughs> you need to kick them to the curb and then go talk to Zach to see how, uh, how we get over you. that. Um, definitely, they need to treat you like, like a queen. I've been blessed to have this very strong personality so whoever meets mm -hmm. me is like well i'm a queen and that's it it does have downfalls um but there's more ups than downs but you have yeah. to value yourself and think that you are the brady the jordan the muhammad ali the yeah gold in every yeah. single relationship that you're in and especially the one with yourself because when yes. we're 90 or 80 or you know you're going to be sitting there and you're sitting with yourself. So yeah. you have to make sure that you're happy with yeah. yourself before you can be happy with anybody else. Yeah. And you always take yourself with you. You're the one constant in all of your relationships, you know, you're and there. you, you're the only thing you can change. You can't change the other person either. You can only change yourself, but that's God, all no. you need to be able to do. That's all you need to be able to do. Um, Oh, yeah, before you go, you know, and I, I'm just having such, so much fun with this conversation. So <laughs> I, like, don't want it to end. So, yeah, I, so you shared some great tips there. Is there any other, like, great tips? I really want, you know, the people here to get the full Hannah experience and your favorite things to talk about. Is there, like, you know, wh wh what can you share with everyone here that would, you know, that you think Ooh. would really help them? See... Now you've really stumped me because there's like two topics that I never be quiet about. Um, okay. That's, <laughs> what are those two topics? Uh, the first one is pushing past adversity. So mm -hmm. I'm the queen of pushing past adversity. Adversity. I've been through literally everything you can possibly imagine a human being could go through. And I still keep going. Um, mm -hmm. I'm very like With diligent. a big smile on your face too. All the time. <laughs> I love it. You have yeah. to smile. Um, smiling is so powerful. If you smile for 10 seconds, your day will get better. Literally smile for 10 seconds. Ten. <laughs> I do but feel you, much better. Yeah. You do. Because yeah. you, you're you like, you force, not force it, but you're like, you know what? I'm just going to smile. And then out of nowhere, yeah. something in 10 seconds, you're going to remember something that's really funny or yeah. something that happened. Or you must, or I laugh like you look so silly right now, smiling at yourself for no apparent reason. And then that just makes me laugh. And once that happens, then everything else is okay because you mm -hmm. can literally, I, why I like pushing past adversity is it's kind of like a challenge to me because you can survive 100% of the things that get put in front of you if you change up here and you believe in yourself. Yeah. The minute that you do that, that you think that you're gold, even though you may not be it at that moment. Trust mm -hmm. me, I've been there. You yeah, you're gold. Go you guys got to know you're gold. I love it. Yeah. You're gold all the time. You're gold all the time. And if whoever, I, I unfortunately don't have that much experience in like relationship wise. Like I've never been broken up with, like nobody's ever broken up with me in my life. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I was, usually I, the I, first... I, I'm sure we all wish we were so lucky, you know, I've, but I've I, definitely been broken up with, I think. Yeah. But go ahead. No, but I, I really, I got married super young at 21. Um, no. So I didn't really date as much. And if somebody, mm -hmm. if a guy would irritate me and I didn't like mm -hmm. something about them, I'd be like, okay, bye. Yeah. Zero <laughs> like, there was no. Well, you just knew. And then you just made the decision. And a lot of people don't have that, that clarity, you know, okay, well, I've decided this isn't for me. And then you just do it. And you... it's, there's only one step, you know, but a lot of times we like, you know, all this back and forth and overthinking that, that most people do in relationships is, yeah, that's unbelievable. It's, it's, it's very, the, I, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's hard. It, I come from a divorce yeah. background. So like, but mm -hmm. my mom was me very, too. listen, kid, you're once and done with me. Like my mom was just, she was zero. There was zero, like she didn't, she has mm -hmm. a three point rule. 
Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Third one, she's like, okay, that's it. This Third is, strike, uh, and that's it? You're out with her. So you're out. it's yeah. kind of, kind of, I grew up with that mentality, but definitely mm -hmm. that, that's kind of played a lot with how I, how I interact and, and deal. But dating is hard. It is yep. hard out here. Oh For a God. lot of people, it is. It, it especially it has to do with the approach that they take to it, you know. Um, and you, if you really have to change the way you think about it in order to make it easy for yourself and to, to make it fun and enjoyable. Um, and because um, and, a lot of people go into this, go into it with this mentality where, like, anything less than, like, the rest of my life is a complete failure. And so if every oh, time yeah. you go on a date that happens and that's the mentality you have, I mean, and the chances that that person right there is going to be it, you know, in one shot, especially before you've done any self work, you know, it, it's going to be disappointing. You're going to be very disappointed because you're going to think you're striking out to go on 10 dates and none of them work out, you know, for the rest of your life forever. Yeah. You know, you're going to think you're like zero out of 100 percent. And a lot of times you're like, well, that's a failure if you're in school or something. Um, but if, but we have to have a different mentality in, because we should really make it about the beautiful moments. That's what I try to tell people. You want to make it about the beautiful moments. So when you go on a date with someone, whether you end up, you know, liking them for the long term or not, or even if you're not looking for a long term thing. But it, just to appreciate the beautiful moments and, and to see the love flags, you know, that you appreciate. So, you just have was, a conversation. Mm -hmm. Just have a conversation. Yeah. I don't understand why it's a, like you don't have to get married after you go for sushi. Just, yeah. Like, <laughs> just, yeah. just talk to people. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm old. I feel like I'm 90 some days, but I'm just like, why, why are you so concerned about if he's going to call you back or, or not? Well, or it's be, just... it, you know, it, exactly. And it's so much easier for us to see it with other people. But, you know, when it comes to ourselves, it's like we have, you know, these, these blind spots. We can't like think as clearly. So, but from the outside, you're like, yeah, it's totally, you know, um, totally, whatever. Totally. Um, Mm -hmm. I used to, you can ask my husband, I used to, he used to tell me, oh, let me call you back. And I would say, well, if you take too long, I may just be talking to somebody else. And <laughs> <laughs> he's laughing right now because I would say it all uh, the time. I'd be like, uh, okay, well, call me back whenever you like, but I'm not going to be sitting here waiting for you to call. <laughs> well, yeah. And that's a good mentality for people to have too is, you know, don't, don't be on hold all the time. No, be no. living your life. Be excited about what you're doing, and and um, and so often, you know, people think like the the perfect relationship is someone you just dedicate everything to. But if you dedicate everything to, you're not um, you're not. It, it's much more fun to date someone who. Um, it's much more fun to date someone who has their own thing going on and, and their own mm -hmm. excitement in life. Mm -hmm. And they're good no matter what you do or what you think about them. You and just throw uh, me those anywhere. are the people, yeah, those are the people <laughs> you're really attracted to. If you notice, you know, yeah. All the people that I've like, wow, I've really, you know, been like, Oh my God, that person. It's always someone who has something really great going on in their life and someone who, mm -hmm. you know, who's a happy person and is, is flowing with that. Um, so yeah, what's the other major topic? Topic two. The the topic so, two. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's it's like pushing past adversity and like knowing your worth. That seems to be my thing. And my mm -hmm. my other topic that like I I constantly struggle with is just mm -hmm. going after your dreams. I struggle yeah. with that. Oh, I struggle with that so hard. And I'm always preaching about it, but like you know, like you you stop yourself, right? So in dating, yeah. like. I find maybe in, I'm using dating because this is like a dating platform, but in dating, like you say, right. you see like that cute guy and you're like, Oh wow. You know, I want to go talk to him, mm -hmm. but like you won't go because he's like the guy of your, let's use Idris Elba. He is like my okay. MCM. Like, yes, Idris Elba. See, you <laughs> understand. So we'll talk I'm, about someone who has tremendous self-worth. He's just super solid. Right. You just look at him and you're like, this dude is just so solid in himself you know you can just feel it from him you see him on screen I, saw, I remember like see i saw him in the first thing i think i saw him or noticed him in was pacific rim and and i you know like, he's so solid in your in himself that you're like i would just follow this guy everywhere you, know, you just you get that feeling you would just follow him but like what separates that person that like you're for sure would follow you, 
you know, they have, you know, they have that energy, they have that self-worth going. And I've even heard him in interviews talk about how, you know, people don't think about how, where they really want to go in their life, which is very much related to what you're talking about. He's like, mm -hmm. the sky is not the limit for me. It's yeah. infinite. And yeah. he sees it that way. He's like, I spend so much time thinking about what I want, you know, what I want my life to be like, what I want to do next, how I see myself. He spends so mm -hmm. much time like thinking about that. So I think it's awesome. Okay, go ahead. No, but he's like totally like, yeah. like I see him and I'm like, hello, I just saw one. Like, like, I can't even, <laughs> I can't even keep right. myself together. But you know what I mean? Like you see mm -hmm. somebody like him or, or you want to talk to somebody like him or you want to be him or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then out of nowhere, boom, reality comes and it hits you. It's like, oh, who do you think you are mm -hmm. going to go talk to Idris Elba? He won't know what he's seeing. Right. And like right. that comes into your mind. And that happens with everything yeah. across the board, like yeah. dating, dreams. Yeah. Like your old self kind of holds you back. So I constantly struggle mm -hmm. with that. But talking to other like influencers and talking to other like entrepreneurs and like my tribe and stuff like that, I feel like everybody goes through the same thing. Like, they yeah, have it's amazing... the thermostat. Mm -hmm. It's the thermostat. It's where it's it's where their 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 concept of themselves is set. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. It's it's totally so. Definitely, that's something that I talk about a lot because, mm -hmm. like, I want to be Oprah, and when mm -hmm. people like Oprah in every single aspect of like everything, and mm -hmm. she's so cool, and she has like media and everything, and but mm -hmm. she, like. Like, she's just everything. And I want to be like Oprah. But then I sit here and I was like, uh, how do you mean Hannah? How do you mean Oprah? Like, you don't even have a TV show. Like, and then that gets into the mind, right? But then now you She wasn't are... born with a TV show, you know? <laughs> no. And that's the thing. Nobody's born with, you know, everything. all the things we want. Everyone is born without them. And, and then they, they create that. But the only difference between, you know, us and our, 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 the people we really want to be is the way we think exactly so you have to constantly like work on yourself and like i like i'm doing things like right now like in this time mm. of my life i'm doing stuff that i never thought i'd be like me being on camera with you right now yeah. on facebook never in a million years which ago. i'm loving i'm loving yeah isn't this so much fun like i'm launching a so podcast and mm -hmm. like i'm doing all the school stuff and three months ago i'd been like me facebook live are you crazy what am i gonna do who am i gonna talk to and you know, here we are. So we limit ourselves, but really mm -hmm. we can do anything we want with the, like with the right helps and tools and like the yeah. right people around you. That is yeah. huge because I'm sure that mm -hmm. if Oprah was around the same people she grew up with, she would not she, be Oprah. She, yeah, she is an awesome, she is like an amazing, you know, she has like the best tribe around her impossible. Ever, and, ever. And yeah, and she attracted that and she grew, you know, she grew into that and, um, yeah, it's really awesome. She, you need to, you need to surround yourself with the right people, and yeah. believe in yourself in order for them to gravitate and lift you higher. Same with the person that's standing next to you, whether that's yeah. your spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, dog, cat. I don't know. Whatever it is, they need to lift you higher. If not, you need to let them go, like them jeans. Just let them go because yeah. once you get to a certain height of your career or a height of your success or whatever it is that you're looking for, that person is going to bring you down like this. Because they're not on your same mm -hmm. wavelength. Yeah. So yeah, they're not. Exactly. They're not. And, you um, know, yeah. I, I talk about this analogy. Um, I originally heard this analogy from, um, from Tony Robbins. But since then, I, I, I feel like I've expanded on it a little bit. It has to do a lot with what you're talking about. And it's the thermostat analogy. And so we have a concept of ourselves. And um, we don't allow ourselves to go above or below our concept of ourselves. So say we have our life and it, we have a different thermostat set on different subjects, right? Mm -hmm. I remember, I remember when I was in real estate, you know, almost 10 years ago. You were in real estate. Oh, I was, I was, yeah. um, cool. for about a year. I remember all of a sudden in one week, I made $4,000 in one week. And for my young self, I remember I was totally fine until I realized that I made $4,000 in a week. And some sort of like click went off in my head and I, I realized that I'd gone over the, the amount that I thought I was worth. And mm -hmm. I didn't make any sales for like the next month and a half, something oh. like that. I didn't make any money. And I, I, I constantly was not allowing myself to do the things that would have made me successful. 
And that's the thing. We actually can't perceive beyond. So with a thermostat, say we have it set to 76 degrees, right, on, on a, a certain subject, say our success. And then all of a sudden we, we get something that's at like 80 degrees. Mm-hmm. We will sabotage it. Something will happen to cool us off, to cool off that level of success. We won't allow ourselves to pass beyond that. And the opposite is also true. Um, have you ever had that moment where you're like, I'm definitely worth more than this? And you kind of get, you kind of get like, you're like, no, you get very, yeah. sometimes you yeah. even kind of get mad and you get the heat kicks on and it like pushes mm-hmm. you back up. And you're like, no, I'm worth more than this. I know it. And immediately, almost immediately, you like change it because you know you're worth more than that. Yeah. So I think for so many people, if we can raise that thermostat level, what will happen is, is we will be pushed, you know, from the inside, we will be inspired to um so much more to go toward those because it'll be a must it'll be the standard we mm-hmm. won't allow ourselves to have less than that than than we set it so if we can raise that concept of ourselves if we can increase that the action will come naturally the um inspiration the ideas will come naturally to us and um yeah and so in regards to relationship you know if you go and you try to approach someone that's like up here but you think we're down here that's when we like start stuttering, mm-hmm. you know, we say dumb things, you know, uh, we can't, we, we can't have like a really cool conversation like we normally would be able to. Mm-hmm. It's like the people we don't care about, we're like on fire. And then oh, we go okay. and, yeah, <laughs> and then we go, we talk to that person that we think is too good for us. And we're like, the hide yourself hey. elbows of the world. <laughs> right. We, we know they're on like, you know, or they're like up there. And we feel like we're not. And so our subconscious mind kind of blacks us out. And we, we can't be cool. We can't be our best and, and all that stuff. That's why it's so important that we, you know, raise that up. The and thermostat. Yeah. yeah push I'm going to definitely use that. That was Thank really you. cool. I Thank always you. use the, like, your car lights. You can you turn on your car lights and you can't see mm-hmm. that you're going home. You can only see, mm-hmm. like, a couple feet in front of you. So why do you, yeah. why do you care so much about the, the final destination when you can't Yeah. See? Right. So but if I you keep of, moving and you keep seeing that, you know, yeah, uh, I love that. That's that's kind of another one that I use. But definitely, I, I like that thermostat because you there's times that that you're at, like for me, my nine to five, I'm there and I'm just like, oh, my God, I know I can do so much more than this. And I'm mm-hmm. sitting there. And then when I come into like my my little space here, I mm-hmm. get all like, oh, my God, can I really do this? And then I can then I get all scared. But while uh-huh. I'm at work, I'm like, I could be crushing the waves of online world right now. So uh-huh. it's, it's, right. It's, right. I know. Yeah, I'm we, still in that yeah. in that balance. Yeah. 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 I know. I think we're all, you know, we're all in that balance. We're all trying to improve it. And that's why that's why we gotta we gotta set it up as high as we as high as we can and continually keep moving it up. Because that's the, the joy and the juice of life. Um mm-hmm. all right. Uh, any final thoughts or anything else you wanted to? I had so much fun doing this. Right? This was the best thing so ever. Yeah. So much fun. We have to do this again. I want to actually yeah, thank I would you love for to. reaching out and and um, vibing online. This is yeah, super fun. Sure. Uh, I hope that your tribe enjoyed it and that they got some value out of it. Um, yeah. Definitely the boot camp, the eight-week boot camp. If you don't sign up and then you're lonely for summertime, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, totally. I don't. You're going to Fourth of July with that. I love that. I love that. Yeah, you didn't, and, you didn't go. <laughs> yeah, guys, and 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 yeah, don't forget check out. Um, I've got the Romance Academy eight week boot camp, as we're calling it, uh, instead of course, and um, we're going to be covering so many things like how to increase that thermostat. We're going to go more like in depth. We're going to be talking about how. Um, how you can really change yourself into the best mate possible Mm -hmm. to really revolutionize that where people can really see it and know it and feel it. Um, We're going to be talking about, oh, so many good things. Nikki, so excited. uh, I am so excited. You know, I keep saying this, but I think it's really going to be the best course out there of its kind. And thank you. I appreciate it. And, um, and just the, um, and I'm there to work with everyone in that, you know, and uh, I'm personally involved with all of you guys to really see your success, mm. to see right where you are, to customize a plan on how to get you there. And it's every week, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of information and there's going to be a lot of change. 
It's going to be a lot of change. So I hope you guys are ready for it. Um, yeah. So Super anyway, excited. Super yeah. excited. Thank if you I so would... much. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I wish you like the best of luck ever. I expect to hear like updates and stuff. And I want, <laughs> <laughs> I want to know how it's going. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let me know. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Hannah, for coming You're on. You're welcome. Yeah. Anytime. Anytime. Yeah. Well, that's Academy uh-huh. on a Friday night. Best thing ever. You have uh, a good night. Thanks. And thank you right. so much for having me. Bye, guys. Take care. Absolutely. All right. Bye. Bye. Take care.